I'm still in a denial that this thing happened. Jatinder Chahal is still mourning the death of his roommate, 20-year-old Harmin Sandhu, who died during a cliff jumping accident last week in Lynn Canyon. And he was a really nice guy, mm -hmm. a kind person. He used to help everyone. He was a fun-loving guy. Sandhu lived in Surrey and now his friends and family are trying to get his body back to India for a dignified funeral in time for religious Sikh rituals. Chahal has started a GoFundMe to help cover the costs of bringing Harmin back to his home, which he says is taking a long time as authorities have not released Sandhu's body. After the death, we have to complete the rituals in 13 days, but it's taking too long that it's already, already been like 10 days now. It's a lot of mental pressure on the family too and the stress. Chahal says he received a phone call from a friend breaking the tragic news that his roommate wouldn't be coming home. He was under the water for like 30 to 40 minutes already. I think the rescue team was a bit late. Or maybe they couldn't find a way to get him out. According to North Vancouver Fire Rescue, in the last five decades, there have been over 35 accidental deaths in Lynn Canyon, and over a dozen are related to cliff jumping and swimming. Um, I think it was not supposed to end like this. In Surrey, Angela Bauer, City News.